Hey guys, Smart Ninja 0 here. Today we're back with Minecraft Python Edition. This just, no, it did not get an update. I'm pranking you. No, that, that was an April Fool's joke. If you guys didn't are watching this in the past, and you want to see how I did it, or, so you might not have, you might have thought it was real on just some unfinished project. No, it was an April Fool's prank. Hopefully everyone got that. Um, I tried to make it as realistic as possible, put in as many details. I mean, 365, 3.6.5, I didn't do, like, I mean, I thought I did a pretty good job. Uh, it took me way, way too long, in case you're curious. I think I spent four attempts. Not because it was hard or anything, because I kept pressing F3. And if you don't know, if you press F3, you can see your Minecraft version up in the top left of the screen. So, <laughs> yeah, I am at 1.8. Um, I do, so it is it is vanilla. Um, it's 1.8. The reasoning behind that is kind of interesting. It's actually based off of Minecraft. Before I show you the command box, and now I did all this. Um... It's actually based off of Minecraft uh, 3DS Edition. If you don't know what that is, Minecraft has a 3DS Edition available in the eShop and as a cartridge. Um, so go buy that. Um, but And what they have in it is they have the uh, Guardians in it. So I had assumed that if they were to make a new version, since they just did make a new one, um, they would add Guardians as well. Like, or not. Yeah, they're called Guardians, aren't they? Also, that version just recently updated to multiplayer, so you can definitely go play with your friends. Why am I why am I plugging Minecraft 3DS edition? Um, so, anyways, I thought it would be some like sort of that version, um, and so that's where I got like most of my ideas was based off of that. Now, the Python cubes are entirely my idea. Um, in fact, actually, um, the reasoning behind this Minecraft Python thing is because when I originally saw Minecraft Java edition, you know where they put that stupid um, you know, what's it called, like, little animation thing, or, like, the little prefix, I saw that, and I was like, oh my gosh, why, and then I was like, oh, maybe they're at a new version, nah, they just want to clarify that this is not Minecraft, it's Minecraft Java Edition, something completely different, look at that rabbit, um, so, yeah, um, and I just thought that was kind of funny, um, I originally thought it was meaning they were going to have other versions as well, like we have Windows 10 Edition, um, and then I thought we might get, like, since Java is a programming language, we might get more, which we never did. That's the whole point of it. It's supposed to be just sort of a cool prank and stuff. Um, hopefully you guys realized it was a April Fool's joke. If you didn't, I'm really sorry. Um, why am I shooting my bow? I don't have a trident. I would do this with the trident, but we're, we're in 1.8. Um... So, maybe someone's watching this in the future, and they're like, whatever happened to this? Before they leave a comment, so I should put this in the annotations down in the end card. Um, but yeah, why don't we get into the commands? You can see this is how it was done. They are actually command blocks, which I hope you guys realized. As well as the fact that it's um, really just having the second one under it. Um, now, a lot of this... See, I put a lot of the attention into detail on this. You'll notice the texture. Um, this is the new command block texture, so it's not 1.8, so you might get a little bit confused by that. Um, it's completely the same, and it's got a completely different color palette than the normal command blocks, along with this sort of nice Python-y logo. Uh, if you don't know what Python is, is it by now, gosh, uh, it's a programming language. And in case you're wondering, yeah, it's just Telra. Um, this is a, just a nice syntax here. This is what you get if you put this in without any quotes. Um, I thought that was just a nice little detail, kind of throw some randomness into it, because at the moment, first off, single quote looks bad, and double quote looks nice. And there's actually a very obvious difference between the two. There's like two pixels in this one, and one pixel in this, which I think is kind of cool, kind of interesting. Um, and I just didn't want to mess with people with that. Um, but I thought that might be just sort of a random little detail. Like these random little details, they make a version the way they are, you know? Um, so I tried to add as many of those as I could. Um, the same with the dictionaries. So when, what the dictionaries are, they're just scoreboard, obviously. Um, but you might not have thought that since I put so much detail into how I explained them. Like, if you're going to do an April Fool's prank, now this is any April Fool's prank, the more detail you add, the more little nit things. If you don't have, if you have more than just a general idea, um, then it works out nicely. So that's why, first off, I'm not in 
the re most recent snapshot, most recent version. I'm 1.8. Now, a lot of players play on 1.8, um, but that's not the reason. Actually, I probably should would have gone a different version, um, but I just um, I thought 1.8 was probably the best choice uh, just because, first off, it's not 1.9, and most versions have an upgrade to 1.9, and it's not 1.7. And I don't actually know if Telraw was introduced in 1.7, but when I was making this, I didn't want to try it out, so I was just like, you know what? I know it wasn't 1.8, so I'm just going to do it in 1.8. 1.7, if you have Telra, good job, but I'm not using it. So that's that's sort of the reasoning behind the version. Um, anyways, let's get talking. Uh, so these are just simple things. Uh, the syntax error is actually what happens if you were to run the command like this. This is what you would get if you were running it in Python. That's what the syntax error first so I would have liked to put more information but yeah it didn't have a lot of space uh, next I had just a sort of nice f open that is just log.txt that's just totally to mess you up um, again it doesn't actually do anything it just adds a little bit of extra if you didn't know there's certain ways to open files in Minecraft then you'd have to normally you'd use something like OS to imp you import OS you guys probably don't know what OS is unless you actually know Python if you know Python leave a comment so here's a log in case you're curious since we're about to do this. Oh, we don't need you, Minecraft. Um, so this is all it's actually going to load. Ooh, time. Um, but you can see it says preparing to launch client, and then we get these five messages. Or no, one, two, three, four, five. I kind of ignored this. Eh. Um, now you'll notice how it says launcher here. This Ave thing, I have no idea what that is. I couldn't find it online, so I'm just like, you know what? We're going to change it to user, which is why it's slightly different. And yeah, you can see there's actually a texture pack, which I didn't mention. And if on Windows, oh, that's just Twitch. We don't we don't do Twitch, do we? Let us get started. Um, okay. So what we're doing is just simple read lines, totally just normal Python command, and it's just some tower off, so you get nice things that go with the launcher, but I just X that out, so I'm not going to show that they correspond. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, so user is actually not it. And then we close it just to give it a little bit extra. Again, you don't actually have to close it. I didn't even have to open it. But it's just these little details that make something so much more realistic. You know what I mean, guys? Dictionaries are self-explanatory. Just did that with a couple square words and then setting it on the side or not. So, yeah, it doesn't actually... Now, this is cool. So, what I didn't mention yet is the fact that there's no errors. And that's just because I clicked this X. Click it. See nothing yet? Click it, boom, error. I click X. Nothing yet because there's the X. Boom. Perfect every time. Zero deaths. So that's pretty much it. Um, I can press F3. It's so nice because I couldn't do that during the video. You know, I can just. I had to restart every time I pressed F3 because you can see it's annoying. Just, that's going to be really annoying in the video. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this Minecraft, how I made... What the heck? This is not a series. If you enjoyed this Minecraft command block tutorial... It's... My God. Click the like button if you enjoyed this video. That works. That works. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Um, you know, that's what you should do. I do command block videos basically every day unless I mess up and then... Not... Well, I do videos every day. I don't do command blocks every day, but I... Unless they mess up, so that's usually pretty good. Um, anyways, that's it. Um, a few other things. I don't say this enough, so I'm going to say it now. Follow me on Twitter. Join my Discord. I say Discord, but I don't say Twitter. Do both of those. And click the bell, because apparently YouTube doesn't notify you unless you click the bell. So, Okay, bye.